Yeah, he didn't say yes when everybody assumed he, he was a yes. W what do you think he is? Um, what's going on behind closed doors with him and Nancy Pelosi, do you believe? What's going on behind closed doors, are, it's cakes, it's beer, uh, it's a party. They, they are happy that they have this moment. Adam Schiff loved uh, story time, both during his opening statements and his closing statements. Uh, when you were going through those open hearings, he always aspired to be a, a fiction writer. He wanted to be a screenwriter, and he now has this opportunity to write the world's greatest parody. As far as him saying that he's not sure if his mind's made up, give me a break. Going to talk to his constituents, the constituents who knew as soon as the president of the United States was elected November of 16, they started calling for him to be impeached when he was getting sworn in. They were calling for him to be impeached. Uh, his constituents, some of these people who had to go outside of their house, look up at the sky and start screaming uh, for therapy. The, Adam Schiff knows exactly what he wants here. He wants to remove the sitting president. Uh, he has people in his own conference uh, who have taken the position that uh, that they need to impeach the president or they fear that he'll get reelected. Uh, multiple members have said that. Uh, you have other members who said that the president needs to prove his innocence. There's been no due process throughout this. And when he says that he has an ironclad case, uh, I only think that he has an ironclad imagination. I think that he has an ironclad amount of bad intentions here. Uh, and the, uh, the rest of the story that comes out, when you look at what actually happened, when you sort through the second, third, fourth hand hearsay, you just get to the facts of what Ukraine knew and when, and what they didn't have to deliver in order to get the aid, uh, that the president is in the clear and he did nothing that you could possibly impeach him for. Well, we